Good evening. It's Peter Temple on Wednesday, May the 27th, and this is the market update for Thursday, May the 28th. Well, today we had a little fourth wave that came down. This is looking at ES, the 60-minute chart, and it was a little surprising to me because I thought we already had a fourth wave here. So looking at this chart, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and I have, based on this fifth wave being 1.618 times the first wave, um, I had expected to see a, t a t well, a rise going up to about 50, 30, 52 at a maximum. And then we got this wave down, which came down in three waves and came down to lower than this previous fourth here. But we already had a previous fourth that came down to the previous fourth here. So it's, a, it's very strange. And this sort of looked like five waves up. So I would think this is probably the top of the third. And this would then be the fourth. It was just very odd the way it happened. And this is a little fifth, and it still has the same target. In fact, it's a little bit less, 3048. If it does not come down the way it is, because it's such a small little fifth wave, it may not have to do a little fourth and a fifth. So there's an option here as to whether we need a little fourth and a fifth to go up, and then it will go up higher. <clears throat> or even go to the same level. I've got a smaller chart here. I think a little five minute or three minute that I'll show you. Uh, sort of a three minute, uh, which will make that a little clearer. Anyway, we're so close to a top that it could actually come down first thing in the morning if it doesn't have to do a fourth wave uh, and a fifth wave, or we could end up with a fourth wave in the morning and just do a little fifth wave and then come down. So it's either sort of tomorrow or Friday, I would think. We, we don't have that far to go. And we've got a lot of uh, RSI divergence here. So we're just that close that just in this little area, we should see a turn down. All the currency pairs tonight look like they are moving up to, to their targets to do sort of double tops and double bottoms. Uh, in, in most cases, US dollar yen, I'm not sure what it's doing at the moment, but they all look like everything is finishing up. And we have a fourth wave possibly down in oil tonight. So we'll see how this all plays out. But, you know, I thought we might get a top today, but I was expecting more upside from this wave. <clears throat> and then it all of a sudden came down and it just gave us another fourth, which was a bit of a surprise based on what I'm seeing here. This just looks like a fourth wave. So very odd. It wasn't as deep as I would have thought. So this probably relates to one of these waves in here. Anyway, that's, that's what I'm looking at going over to this little three minute chart. So here's the wave up. This looked corrective going up because it's got a great big wave down here and another wave here. And so this goes into the area of the first. Anyway, it's a very strange looking wave on the upside. So this is, I would label this the first wave, a second wave. This measures out to be all of the third. And I just grabbed this a few minutes ago. And this looks like this, I should probably move this three over here. This is either the top of the third, or we've got a little fourth wave and a fifth wave to finish off this wave up. Now, if it comes down tonight in a fourth wave, then it would probably open up here in the morning, I would think, because the S&P 500 went up, looks like it finished its wave. And if it has to do a fourth and a fifth, then that's what we're into for both the S&P 500 and ES. If it doesn't, it may just come down because sometimes these, this is a pretty small wave all in. And it just may be that this is the fourth and fifth for this first and second. Sometimes these things are, are not really complex waves. And sometimes it does require another little fourth and a fifth. So that's what I see happening. Here's the 38% retrace level, 30, 30, 10, 3010, if we get that. And then this, my target on the upside is about 3048 as a maximum taking a measurement off this first wave. So that's what we're looking at, and we'll just see how that plays out. We want to be, the first area that for this now, we want to be below this uh, about 2960-ish, uh, and that would give us a pretty good indication that we uh, have topped, but we really need to be down below the larger fourth, which is down here before I really call this. And I would expect we get a first wave down here and then a bounce probably at the 26, 2760 area. Although if we've got zigzags, 
This could be a very large zigzag that goes down a lot further, but I would think at some point, not too far away, we'll get this bounce and get a little second wave, which may not go up 62%, and then get a wave to the downside, which will just keep on going. So that's what I'm expecting. It really all depends on what this does sort of overnight and tomorrow morning. Uh, going over to NQ, NQ is in a different sort of situation. I don't know whether we've got a top in place here and whether this is a small first wave down. It didn't come down here to the previous fourth, uh, but you know, in zigzags, it doesn't necessarily need to. So this could be a one, two. This went up pretty well exactly 62%, and it's a three. And then this came down, looks like kind of five waves. So this could go up and and just end here at 9,500 and make this a double two, or it could go up and do a double top. But I would think overall, this thing is pretty well done as well. So I think it would be better to see a double top here from this, but I can count five waves down here in this wave. And it really just depends on, the waves tonight are just really difficult to figure out uh, in terms of you know where our top <clears throat> actually is, because we're in the final wave and I'm looking at, in most cases, sort of one minute, three minute waves, that sort of thing, which are very difficult to figure out. Looking at the S&P 500, I just grabbed this chart because I was looking at this today. So so it's not the usual chart, but we had three waves down here and then we had this one, two, sort of looks like three, this could be the top of the third here and a fourth and a fifth. So it means there's probably a little bit of uh, give and take up at the top here if that's the case, because it does measure out that way that we might have a very small fourth and a fifth, or we get that fourth down and a fifth, which is larger. And again, I just don't know which way this is going to go because I can see both ways playing out and I don't expect this to go very much higher than what it is. It might go up another uh, 10 points uh, in if we get this fourth wave and a fifth wave, but it measured out that this was 2.618 right about where it ended uh, at the top here. So it's just a case of what are we, are we, do we come down in the morning or do we do a fourth and a fifth and then come down? I just don't know the answer to that question. Going over and looking at the S&P 500, the normal one I give you here, everything is now up at a high. Um, so we're just going to have to see what how that plays out. Going in and looking at a little 15-minute chart here. Uh, maybe it should be a 10-minute chart. This is just the last little wave up, <clears throat> the, what I, the count I've got. Now, there's so many gaps in this that, you know, you're kind of guessing. But I would say one, two, and these don't measure out properly either. One, two, three, four and this would be the fifth wave and it is a case of whether you know going into a five minute or say um this looks like the first second i guess this double top here was the third and we got our wave down to day four and so this would be a little one two and i, and I actually marked this as possibly a three four there or the third is up here i just don't know the answer to that either and whether we're going to get another fourth or whether this is the entire wave here and that's the fifth so that's the question because i can measure this a couple of ways and um, we'll just have to see how the morning plays out here is the one a one hour chart of dxy the us dollar index and so we've got this ABC wave down. This is our triangle that we have been looking at going sideways for so long. And we've got an ABC down to the E leg. And it went, as I said, it might just a little bit lower. And so I can't tell with this wave here whether it is actually a first wave up. It went up to the previous fourth here. And, and so it could either be a first wave in place and a second, or this could be a little fourth wave and we're looking for just a double bottom here. So that's the problem. I can't get it from this either in terms of whether we have another little fourth and fifth tomorrow morning or tonight, or whether we're actually going to head to the downside because it kind of looks corrective on the downside here. So we'll just have to see, but we're very close to this thing turning to the upside and that should send the US indices to the downside. So going through the currency pairs, you'll see that here's the Euro US dollar two hour chart we came down in this kind of fourth today and now we're headed back up and we're very close if i go into a 15 minute chart with some of these here's where we are you know we really only have to get up 
to a new high here, I would think we'll probably get a double top and then come down. And so there's not very much space here, which sort of suggests to me, do we get a little fourth and a fifth? Because these things are all moving together tonight. Or does this thing end up here in the morning and everything just comes down? And so I don't know what we're going to do. These things are just so small now that it is very difficult to figure out exactly how this is going to play out. But we are at my target. I'm expecting this to turn down. And there's a good trade here to the downside, which is going to probably get everything turning at the same time. The Australian dollar, I can't figure out the uh, structure of this thing. I changed a little bit of the numbering because it's just, it, it kind of looks like an ending diagonal, but then it isn't. And so it's just kind of going sideways. And we're ending up with uh, a wave to the downside once this thing tops. If I go into the 15-minute chart here, you can see that we came down. Now, this actually looks like it could be five waves, so that this might just be a second wave. So if this only goes up um, to sort of uh, 0.664, and then comes down, I can't quite tell at this point, or it will go up and do a double top, which is probably what I would expect it to do at, at 0.668 and then come down. But that's how close we are on all of these is that, uh, and, and the thing, the problem with this being a first wave is that usually it would come down to a previous fourth here and it hasn't. So that's why I'm thinking it may just go up and do a double top, but this doesn't have far to go. And if it ends up there in the morning, then we may be looking Looking at this thing just keeling over with everything else. I just don't know how this is going to play out overnight, as I've been saying. US dollar, uh, US dollar CAD, 15 minute chart. Let's just go to the two hour chart to begin with. So we're down here. We now have sort of a one, two, three, four, five. We had our four, five here. So this just looks like it will come down and do a double bottom or. Uh, or not, but I, I would think just a double bottom is probably the most plausible thing and it looks like it's just kind of in a fourth wave and just has a little bit more down to go. This is a 15 minute chart. So I mean it can do this very, very quickly. So if this ends up at, at a double bottom or a new low in the morning, then this would be ready to go to the upside. All right, so all of these things are just so close now in terms of having done the five waves and looking either this is a second. Uh, actually, let's go look at that a little bit closer and maybe I can tell you. See, this this probably is a three, although it did come down kind of to a, prob a previous fourth, but it, it looks like it may be a an A, B, one, two, three, and, and then five waves, which would mean this would come down to a double bottom. But it hardly has anywhere to go. Again, it looks like it's in a fourth wave right now and just has a little bit more downside. Going over to US dollar yen, two hour chart. This thing is still uh, making me a little bit crazy. We'll go to a four hour chart, but here's the pattern that looks like an ending diagonal, but I'm not sure that it is. Now it's been going sideways up and down here for the last few days, I guess with the dollar just going sideways. And now I don't know if it's gonna complete this thing. If, if this being the US dollar, the dollar is to the downside right now so that you would expect this to go to the upside if the dollar actually goes to the upside. But again, we've got the yen and I don't know who's controlling this right now, but right at the moment, we've just been going sideways. So if it's an ending diagonal, I expect another wave to the downside, but I would not be playing this and actually, until I actually saw it. It either has to get above, break the ending diagonal and get above this trend line, or it has to break down uh, through this trend line before I would even get interested in it. And uh, I just don't know which way this one is going. So I would say stay away from it until we get that. Uh, once we get a turn and a second wave, then we should get a good trade. But that may be not going to happen until the market actually turns uh, the U.S. indices. Anyway, so I would say let's just sit on this one. We'll see what happens with it. And there may be a trade there based on which direction it's going. Here is the four hour chart of gold and gold still has got this ending diagonal it's right at the bottom of it. So it's got some more upside and I don't know if this is going to play out with the US indices turning or whether it is going to rise based on them going down. I'm still really unclear on the timing here. But if this is an ending diagonal, it sure looks like it an ABC third wave. This is a corrective wave to the downside. Uh, I mean, it looks like five, but to me, this looks more corrective than anything. And then you've got this, and, and the other thing was, 
that if if I actually widen this out a little bit, uh, if this is the ending diagonal, it's broken. So I actually made it here, and there's a little bit of a question about that. But I think um, based on the look of it, I'm, there's an extra little wave in here, and there's a wave in here that it comes down, and then so I'm not sure if that's a five or not because if it's a five, it shouldn't be in an ending diagonal, and then this would just be a fourth wave and a fifth wave. In either case, we at least, at least as far as I'm concerned, needed a new high. This did not have a second wave in it here, so it comes down as a three, and you know, while it could be a zigzag, that's possible. If it breaks this ending diagonal the way I've got it set, then it would be coming down to the downside. So that that ends up being the question. Are we going up or down? I think we still have another wave up to go. But if the U.S. market comes down, that's going to be a question. Okay, so we'll just watch that very closely. Uh, the other thing that tells me we're going up is that we have silver here which needs to get up to, to this level here at about $19. And it's got an ABC wave down, so that's corrective. So it's correcting that. So that would tell me gold probably is going up with this and has another leg to the upside, as I've been saying. So anyway, we're just waiting for these. This looks like it's got a little bit of work still to go. So we'll watch this over the next few days. Here is the daily chart of West Texas Intermediate. And we've got this big wave to the downside, which is part of a zigzag combination here. Uh, one, I'm missing my little two here, but one, two, three, four, five waves down. Then we've got this ABC wave up and to the previous fourth, and I'm expecting a downturn here from just about where we are down to about the $6 level to finish off a fifth wave. Going into the 60 minute chart, the question is, what are we doing tonight? And this has moved a little bit. It looks like we're coming down to do a double four at the moment. This looks like an ABC down. I have this listed as a third wave and a fourth wave. It went up to a new high here, which means that this now might be the third wave. Uh, and then this being a fourth down to this this pretty close to the same position, I would think. And then getting one more wave up. This wave down from here looks corrective. So I'm still looking for one more wave up. And if this goes down and gives us a fourth wave, if it goes up tonight, fine. But if it sits there in the morning, that might suggest that we're going to get that fourth wave in ES and then another wave up. But we're very close on all of these. It's just a case of getting to a new high and getting everything to turn over. And that could be tomorrow. It could be Friday morning. It's really, as I've been saying, a day-to-day -day thing. Looking at DAX, DAX has got this great big five waves up now. And it looks like it's just got another little fifth wave now to do. So this is the the one hour chart and so this has got the same pattern to the downside as the u.s indices and we've got this a b very a huge c wave up that went up higher than i even thought it would go but it's just amazing what the you know the uh, amount of bullishness in this market in this corrective environment anyway that's what um I am expecting is a turn here after the top of this fifth wave and then a turn to the downside. My target is 8,000. This should turn with the U.S. indices. And just watch this closely and uh, we'll see this, I hope, in the next uh, day or two. And uh, and we'll get probably a set of zigzags. I don't know what the pattern's down is going to be down on the downside, but I think it'll probably be a, a set of zigzags that I don't know. But everything is sort of waiting. We're very, very close and we'll just see what... Uh, transpires tomorrow morning and i'm just looking around to see uh, it looks like we're coming down a little bit so in es so maybe we'll get that fourth wave and then a fifth wave up tomorrow to finish everything up i don't know at this point we'll just have to play it by ear in the morning